guys, we just got back from uh, a little outing. We're taking a little bit of a nap here in the car seat, so before she wakes up, I wanted to film this. Um, as I'm filming, uh, Agnes is one month old today, so just gonna check in and uh, let you know how we're doing. She's doing great. I know people always keep saying that she's, oh, she's so small, because she is. Um, I, she was seven pounds a week and a half ago, or almost, almost two weeks ago, tomorrow. Um, so I'm not sure how big she is now, but she's still pretty tiny. But I mean, when I look at her, all I can see is how much bigger she is than when she came home. Um, you know, she's getting chubbier, her little cheeks and legs and stuff. Um, she's starting to like get smarter. I can tell just like little by little, she's following stuff with her eyes a bit more. And I think she's sort of starting to become aware of the fact that she has arms. Um, and that those arms are hers and she can control them a little bit. Um, she's not like reaching for stuff yet, but she seems to have an awareness that they're hers, um, which is pretty exciting to see. Um, so yeah, she's also, she's not really on a schedule. I'm trying to learn how to put her down for naps when she gets cranky. It's difficult because it seems like it's never the same thing that calms her down every time. Uh, so I have to keep trying different techniques. Um, eventually we'll find out what works and develop a sort of routine, um, for now. Fortunately, she went down before she, uh, got in the car because now she's asleep. Um, but the car seat does not always calm her down unless she's calm when she goes in, unfortunately. Um, we are, we do have, like, sort of a routine for the evening, though, for nighttime, which is good. Um, my husband takes the first feed around like midnight. Um, so I feed her at like 9 to 10. He feeds her like 12 or 1 and then I feed her at like 3 or 4. Um, and so like last night I was able to get a solid 6 hours of sleep because um, I guess we're pretty good at not waking each other up when we get her. Um, and then as far as like I'm doing, uh, again thank you all for your support. Everyone keeps commenting on that video from I think three weeks ago. I'm doing good. Um, I'm taking care of myself. We, like I said, we just came out from an outing. We went to the um, the hospital has something called a mother baby cafe where it's just other new moms um, with like breastfeeding support and other parenting support and stuff so it's just nice to get out of the house um, I you know run small errands I try to get out of the house every other day or so um, just to kind of keep my sanity and um, it's been good uh, there have been like fewer people visiting it's been kind of quiet around the house um, I think people wanted to come the first couple weeks and see her, but it seems like uh, we haven't had that. So, you know, the few, that's fewer people that we can rope into, like, doing our chores for us or watching the baby while we do the chores. So it seems like there's always, always something to do, but I'm staying mostly on top of laundry and dishes. Um, laundry is super important since we're cloth diapering, um, though we do have some disposables as backup. But uh, it's been good. Yeah, she was baptized a week and a half ago. And uh, she's, she's growing. Like I, I've said previously, I don't really want to show her too much um, on social media in the public because it just doesn't seem fair to her and she can make that decision when she grows up. Um, so sorry about that. But um, thank you guys for tuning in and checking out. Um, I know I really appreciate all your support. Hey, little one, waking up. Alright, uh, I have some more pre-filmed videos before I have to start making more Thursday videos, so you'll expect one of those for Thursday, and then I will see you guys next Friday, uh, next Sunday. I'm still sleep deprived, even though I got six hours. Alright, <laughs> bye.